Hey, what is going on, my fam? All right, so uh, I put out a 2019 kind of update video, which uh, I got a lot of good feedback from. And also, I had some comments on there from some folks that, you know, they were good enough to let me know what they wanted to see. Um, and one of the particular things uh, that I also wanted to show was kind of like how I'm shooting things and uh, like how I'm streaming into OBS and things like that, but also how it all works, how it all gets put together. So the main thing I want to say first off is that uh, the the way I do it is my particular way. It may not be a popular way. It's a pretty limiting way, um, but I'm finding with this sort of home studio uh, streaming slash doing live things, particularly with Studio One, it's really difficult to find a setup that has no lag, no headaches, no, um, you know, no clicks, no pops, that sort of thing, no buffering. So the way that I do it, um, I, let me back up a second. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's limiting. The way that I do it is very limiting because you you can't you can't actually do a live stream. Okay, so essentially what I mean by that is I'm able to take a bunch of different parts and then in the end use a video editing software and put it all together and then you have your final product. That's particularly the way I prefer to do things. Um you know, it, it would be nice to do a live stream. And I mean, they're technically, the way I do it, technically there is a way you could, but it's just not very nice. So it seems it seems as though you sort of have to uh, give up something in this case with Studio One and with PC. So that may not be the best news, but I, what I can tell you, is that you can do live stuff. You're just going to have to record it and upload it afterward, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world, in my opinion. Then, you know, who knows if you do something weird that you don't like, you can edit it out and there you go. Or you can leave it in. Who cares? Um, so anyway, let me get down to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, record a video with my cell phone to make this part easier so I can show my entire setup and, and everything like that. So just bear with me. All right, so this here is the setup. Uh, this is my little studio, right? So I got the main computer down here. Uh, I got the pink and blue lights, of course. But really what we got going on here that really um, makes the whole thing tick is that I've got this main computer with uh, these two monitors. Um, and then it's got the interface, which is down here, uh, the Scarlett 18i20. So that's got my microphone plugged in there that uh, you heard me on earlier. Now, the magic to all this is that I actually run two OBS at the same time. So um, I've got this one going for the main computer. But then I got also this one over here. Now you're probably wondering why the heck do I do that? The reason is if I try and use this OBS and I try and capture the audio out of uh, Studio One, you know, you gotta go into options and then you gotta go into your, uh, your DAW setup here and go through and you know you got your voice meter and your VB audio stuff and that sometimes works right but then you go into OBS and then you got to go audio output capture right and you gotta hopefully click on the right thing and it's just it's a whole thing you know what I mean so um, I just decided you know what OBS has no trouble ever picking up a mic, right? So I said, shit, you know what? How about I take the audio out from this interface, so whatever I'm playing in my DAW, 
I just, you know, get it, it out of there and I use like output three and four, for example, and I go into input one and two in my extra audio interface, which is connected to this laptop completely separately. And so I tried it and it worked like a charm uh, first try. So that way I know 100% fact that um, whenever I'm playing something in Studio One, it's going to go into this OBS, no problem. And then all I got to do is just hit start recording. I have no issues, but also I can simply and very easily extract the audio from this video and actually use footage from this video too. Like I can hook up another webcam. I can have a totally separate camera angle. So there's a couple benefits to that altogether. So yeah, and obviously just a quick overview here. I got the uh, pull out keyboard here, right? Yeah, with the with the uh, anti-slam thingy majiggies. You know, I got my MPD pad over here at the PlayStation 4 controller. I got the KRK uh, five inchers. I got the uh, Audio Technica 2020 microphone here. And uh, so this laptop I'm running is a really, really uh, basic office laptop, you know, work laptop with a really low end processor. I think like 250 uh, gigabytes SSD, like as basic as it gets. And this is my M Audio Fast Track Ultra. Um, I actually like the M Audio Fast Track Pro better. I just like the knobs better, and I like the uh, the organization of it better. This one here is great. It just had more inputs, but I really wish I kept my Fast Track Pro. And I think I sold it for like 50 bucks or something. So anyway, that's that's what I'm running. Um, also here I got the toggle switches. So this powers on other items. Like so now I turn on number three. That gets my effects processor going here. Right. So um, I'm going to have this all hooked up so the lamps and everything go on. I actually don't have these hooked up yet we've got another effects processor up here and i've got a uh what do you call it? a galleon kruger uh amp right here so some really cool stuff anyway that's just a quick overview of my setup here and uh i'm gonna kind of leave it there hopefully that explains mostly everything and i'm just gonna head back into obs now all right so hopefully uh that gave you a good picture of kind of what i'm running and how I'm doing these these videos now. So I know it's pretty complex. You know, there's a lot of wires. There's a lot of cables going on. Uh, like I said, that suits me personally the best. It ensures a no latency product. Uh, you can really control the audio. You can make sure it doesn't clip. You can you can do. You're really flexible with the end result you can really have a high quality end result. But it's also cool because you can, if you wanted to do live, like let's say you wanted to essentially maybe do a DJ set or write or show your process organically without any editing, you can do that too. Um, you're gonna have to technically edit, you're gonna have to put the pieces together, make sure the timings and all that work up with the video sync but that's it right or if you want to go a step further and edit it which i'm going to be doing then uh, you have that ability too so when i edit i use adobe uh, premiere pro so that's what i use to edit my videos um, i am not a video guy i'm poor with angles and lighting and all that sort of thing but uh, premiere pro is by far the most intuitive video editing software I've used. Um, I used to use After Effects for video editing as well, but it's a real pain in the butt. So I just pay for the whole Adobe Creative Cloud like uh, per month or per year or whatever. And that gives me everything, access to all their apps. Um, 
And Premiere Pro is a kick-ass video editing software that I definitely recommend. So yeah, um, I'm going to keep this one fairly short. And uh, be sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe. Any support is crazily appreciated. One thing I wanted to mention before I go is I do have a SoundCloud and uh, I'm working on a few things here in private, but I think I have about 52 tracks, so 48 available tracks. You know, um, if you want to check it out, I'll post the link in the description below, but um, I mean, you can check it out if you want. I know there's probably some, some folks who want to see some of my stuff or hear some of my stuff. But uh, it's not much. Like, I mean, some of these aren't even finished. It's pretty random. Um, you know, a lot of these were just for me to listen to. Right? So uh, don't expect too much or anything. But who knows? Maybe you hear something and you want to hear how I edited it or how I made it or wrote it. And um, it'd be great to get some feedback on some of my tunes as well. So. Uh, for those of you interested, I'll post the link in the description. And uh, yeah, so uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, have a good evening. Take care.